Yesterday, the Northern Michigan men's basketball team defeated Bay College 107-68 following an impressive win over St. Norbert College on Saturday. But even with a blowout win, head coach Bill Saul feels like his team could have played better. Our execution on the offensive end is, is less than, uh, than good right now and still trying to learn the vanilla aspects of our defense. But, uh, you know, for two games in, I, I, I feel... Uh, I feel good. These these were two really good opportunities from an exhibition standpoint to play two teams that gave us different looks, and uh, we were able to get a lot of guys some playing time, which was nice as well. The Wildcats were paced by freshman Delapo Olayinka, who put on a show for the crowd at the Barry Events Center. Uh, it was pretty fun. It was a it was a good game. We just tried to try to play fast and fast paced, and it just happened to get the outlet and just put on a show for the fan, like you said. It was also a big day for two freshman Youpers on the team, North Central's Marcus Kraczynski and Iron Mountain's Carson Wonders. Well, it's a completely different game, you know. I mean, it's it's a whole new level, and uh, I've been just trying to work and uh, keep my game going and uh, get to that next level and, and play competitively with these guys that are out here. On the other side, the Norse played their first game as a program in almost 40 years, and the experience was very important to this young team. All in all, I, I'm, I'm as, as happy as I can be, you know, with a game that ends up with a score like it did. I, I think we got some really good things out of it, and I think we figured out some things that we clearly have to work on. It was pretty cool. Um, growing up, that's where you want to play. Growing up in the UP, college basketball, it's Northern. They're uh, right in our backyard, so getting a chance to play against them. First college basketball game ever, it's pretty cool. Good experience. The jump from high school to college is a big difference, and being able to finally learn what that's like was something that uh, I wanted to finally know. And being able to do it, I can really like elevate my game now. And I suppose we all can. We can take away what we did wrong from it. And uh, it's just good playing against uh, great competition and guys that can all play at all positions. Coach Johnson added that the goal now is to not let the players dwell on their first loss of the season. I think this group is a tight enough group. I think they're a tough enough group. And I think they're resilient enough that, that we'll continue to fight. And, and, and that's all we can ask of them. You know, wins and losses will take care of themselves. If they continue to play the, night, the way that I know they can and they continue to run our stuff, we're going to be just fine before it's all said and done. Next up for NMU is the GLIAC GLVC Challenge that begins on November 11th and will be hosted by Michigan Tech. And for the Norse, the men's and women's team will host their season openers this Wednesday against the University of Wisconsin Parkside beginning at 6 o'clock.